Hello, welcome or welcome back to True Seekers Tea. My name is Kate and I'm thankful as always to have you here for today's Big Cart reading. So we're gonna be looking at what truth you need to hear about a certain person or connection. And I'm gonna leave it completely open to spirit in regards to where the reading is gonna go. It's gonna be whatever your spirit team feels you need to know about a specific situation, person, relationship, connection. There will be an energy check-in, so before we get into it, I'm gonna be looking at how you would describe the connection situation that you're thinking about. So I would definitely listen to that part and make sure that it resonates with you so um, you're sure that you pick the right pile. There also will be extended readings as usual. It's gonna be different for every pile and it's gonna depend on what comes through in your reading. So there are three piles to choose from. from pile for pile number one, we have the Star Spinner Tarot with this angel aura point. For pile number two, we have the Goddess of Love Tarot with this Prey Knight point. And you guys, for those of you that are gonna pick pile number two, this deck has a lot of body I'm gonna have to cover, unfortunately, so bear me, bear with me with that one, but just wanted to warn you guys. For pile number three, we have the anhydrite point with the pastel journey tarot. So go ahead and take whatever time you need to tune into which pile you're feeling most drawn to. Again, there will be an energy check-in. I'll have the timestamps linked in the description box along with these decks, the extended readings, any information about me um, in case you guys are interested in looking at any of that. Other than that, I will see you at your pile. Hello, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. If you chose the Angel Aura point and this Star Spinner Tarot, this is going to be your reading where we're looking at what you need to hear about a person or connection that is on your mind. So... I'm going to leave it completely open to spirit as to what is most important for you guys to know. So I am going to start off with an energy check-in just to see how you would describe this connection to me. Um, and I can mirror that back to you and hopefully that can give you guys a better idea of whether or not this um, is your pile just to avoid any confusion. There will be an extended reading as usual. I'm going to first get through your reading just to see... Um, what comes up and depending on that I will see what is most helpful for you guys to go into deeper so if you really feel like it resonates and you want to check it out I'll have it linked down below but let's get started with how would pal number one explain the situation the person the connection to me if they were talking to me as a friend okay we have the queen of swords we have the Knight of Swords. Okay, so a lot of mental energy coming through right off the bat. Like, I feel like you guys would come through in this very, like, I feel like you have something to say about this connection. Like, um, like I feel like you're very sure of something, but let's let's get more into it. What would they say about this situation? All right, we have the Queen of Pentacles here. We have the three of um, coins. For some of you, actually, I'm going to get clarifiers. So can we clarify the queen of swords? Okay, this is the king of swords. So we have the king and queen of swords, right? Yes. I guess it's funny that the king is literally just a bird <laughs> and the queen is a whole person. Um, so a lot of air coming through, like, I don't know if you've had a discussion with this person or, um, I don't know, like, it feels like there's been activity in this connection. Um, can we clarify the Knight of Swords? Okay, we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. A lot of thinking, you guys, a lot of thinking, maybe trying to cut to the truth of something. Um, okay, can we clarify the Queen of Pentacles? 
two of swords, you guys, in reverse. Um, I feel like you're trying to figure something out here. Can we clarify the three of pentacles? We have the four of pentacles and then the hangman in reverse here. Okay, so we have Pisces energy, also a lot of air sign energy coming through. So Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Um, I feel, let me just double check that we're in frame here. Um, I feel like you would say this is someone that you had a really, you have, or I mean, it could be past tense, but like someone that you feel is very much an intellectual match for you. Like, I feel like mentally you guys may be able to, um, connect really easily or like that has been your experience like you just feel like you guys are an intellectual match like and it almost what's coming through too is like you explaining that you have connected with this person before where like you are aware of their intelligence almost or you are aware of the fact that they are able to see things objectively is what i'm getting um and so i feel like with the two of swords here um, it feels like you, there's something that you aren't sure about, like you don't know, and it could be with the three of pentacles here and the four of pentacles, like you maybe don't know if you should collaborate with this person or like with the hangman here, it just feels like, yeah, with the two of cups, it's like, yeah, there's this question of like, I thought we're on the same page or yeah, like I thought we saw eye to eye, um, but with the hangman here, it's almost like getting a different perspective of the situation. Um, and so it might be like you're at a standstill because at, with the two swords here, it can be like confusion or just not knowing what the best thing to do in the situation is. I'm just going to get my tea. Um... I would almost say you're scared to jump to conclusions or you don't want to jump to conclusions about um, this person or the situation. Um, but I do feel like with the hangman, I feel like you're trying to figure it out from their perspective as well. Like, I feel like, I don't know, but your energy is coming through very like grounded and rational. Like you want to be grounded and rational about this um about what is my question though so I don't know but if this sounds like your energy where it's like you don't know exactly how to move forward so you might just be analyzing the situation right now like wh like what should I do next but I maybe you don't feel like you have enough information or yeah maybe you feel like you need more information um it's almost like I'm trying not to jump to conclusions and think of worst case scenarios but a part of me is one side of me is doing that so i don't know if i should like maybe move away from the situation or assume something about them or should i try to communicate and like work together with them like is this someone i can reason with almost or is this someone that i can like get on the same page with it's like you feel like you can but you're not sure i just want to clarify the four of pentacles um we clarify that might be what yeah but i just am getting here actually that what you guys might be unsure about is whether or not it's like every man for himself in the situation or whether or not this is someone you should trust to like connect with or like give you the truth on this um there's also maybe a fear of what this person's gonna say is what i'm getting or maybe a fear of something i don't know with the knight of swords here maybe you guys have heard something or maybe there's been some sort of disruption in the connection and you're just trying to look at it from all angles and understand um but i feel like with the five of swords just coming through here it's like you aren't sure if you should like almost protect yourself and just go back to bases and hold your cards close to your chest or whether or not you should collaborate with this person is what i'm getting um I feel like you're trying to see through confusion. I feel like you are someone though that very much wants the truth of something. So you can know maybe if this is a situation that 
maybe can offer you stability. Maybe you don't know if this situation can offer you like a good partnership or stability or yeah, I just feel like with the queen of pentacles, like you want to feel secure. You may be unsure as well if like they want the same thing as you or whether or not. Um, yeah, if you guys are on the same page is what I'm getting. Like you don't know whether or not you're on the same page. That's what I'm picking up on. Um, so hopefully that will help you guys. But I do feel like a key element of this is like, you seeing it one way and then and then um like logically or like you you thinking about it one way and like one part of you being like no i feel like i know my person or like i feel like we would understand each other or we could get come to an understanding um and then there's another side of you that is like almost like i don't know i don't know exactly what that is though it feels like there's some reason for confusion or reason that you aren't sure if you should open up and, and trust in this person. Trust, I think is the word. But there is a feeling of I don't want to like make a move almost until I see it from or until I have more information or like I have a realization. Like I feel like you guys are trying to have like an epiphany, like an ace of swords moment where, you know, you see through the situation clearly, like you know what you should do. So it just feels like you guys are confused yeah and i'm seeing here with the seven of swords in reverse it's like that can be a card of like lying to yourself and then the knight of pentacles it's like is this someone that you can rely on i feel like that might be a question or have i been delusional almost or like that would be the question all right hi pile number one i just want to update you that before we get into this reading that i'm seeing a situation that could be one of two situations um either way this person that you are feeling this strong equal connection with or an ability to like work together and see each other's um point of view and such i am getting that i and i'm going to explain further but i explain more one side than the other but i just want to clarify that your situation could be one or the other so the six of pentacles is a key part of this reading and the six of pentacles talks about a situation where it's almost like one person is the giver, one is the taker, um, and it can create unfair power dynamics. Um, it doesn't always have to, but your person is used to that throughout their life. And for a lot of you, it's that this person doesn't, well, for all of you, your person perceives that you have more to give than them. So I was, I and you're going to hear this already, I was picking up that they may feel that in that position you would want to manipulate them because that's what's done to them, but also what they do as well to other people. So this person, something I missed the first time around is that this person could be someone that is you, wants, sees relationships from a very like, there's one person in control or one person in power, and it's the person that has more in whatever capacity. Um, it could be any of the suits, someone who's smarter, more emotionally intelligent, someone um, who's more attractive, whatever, all these different ways that you could see someone as above or below, where you just see equality, like you see teamwork, this person has doesn't see it that way. And it has a lot to do with like their background as well. But, and it's not that they don't want a relationship with you, it's that they are uncomfortable moving forward with this connection if the connection is expected to be an equal give and take connection because that's out of their comfort zone and so that feels risky for one of two reasons um your person either feels that because they don't have a solid foundation of self um and they may have a fear of making their own decisions but th this could be true either way um because they have that fear, they may feel inadequate in the situation or not realize that they can, that you are not trying to control them and, and that they can learn through the situation and grow with you. But another scenario I'm getting is that this person, and it could be both and, actually it might be and these two, um, but more information I'm getting is that they may also be uncomfortable moving forward unless they have control of the situation by having the upper hand in their eyes like quote unquote like the three of pentacles the six of pentacles um upper hand and 
yeah so i'm just getting here like this person has struggled throughout their life and you'll see in the cards like but with the lovers in reverse it's this energy of like almost not understanding how to co-create with another person how to be equals with another person and have each person contribute to the decisions and have each person contribute in an equal way um that is just is something that this person struggles with and i'm going to go into it more in the reading but i just wanted to let you guys know that it could be that reason as well all right so what um does pile number one need to hear about this person need to hear about this connection what do they need to hear yeah there's the ace of swords we have the high priestess in reverse yeah, and usually the solution to the um, two of swords is like when you're having like conflicting information and it's almost like you can't figure out what you think. It's like the intuition being something that is important to rely on. Like, what do I feel like is true? Like, what is my gut telling me about this person, about the situation? Um, yeah, what... What does pile number one need to hear about this situation? Okay, we have the six of pentacles. We have the king of cups in reverse. We have the page of pentacles. Okay, I just heard the avatar like... But he has a lot to learn before he's ready to save anyone. But I believe Aang can save the world. Like, I'm hearing that. Um, and again, there's I was getting this in my last reading, you guys. Like, this energy of almost, like, investing in someone or seeing their potential. Like, almost seeing their potential. Um, and feeling like you, like you see, I feel like you see a light in this person or you see what who they could be. But I feel like Spirit's saying that might be something that is blocking your intuition from seeing what is as of right now. Because with the King of Cups in reverse, that can be someone who isn't as emotionally mature, someone who's emotionally manipulative, someone that just like, it's almost like I can't, they can't be trusted, the King of Cups in reverse. They can't be trusted to know that, that themselves but they also can't be trusted to be open with their emotions or not strategic with their emotions. But let's let's see, what else does pile number one need to hear about this connection? Can we clarify the high priestess in reverse? We have the four of swords in the reverse, okay. And I'm also getting an energy of you already know, but it might require that you take a break from the situation. Because with the four of swords, when the four of swords is in reverse, it's almost really hard to like tune in to your intuition and, and get that clarity from that higher space where you're looking at things more objectively like i feel like you're a little bit blocked from seeing the full picture here and i feel like spending some time like taking your mind off the situation and taking care of yourself like resting is going to help you get a clear mindset on this and know what your intuition is saying because i do feel like um gosh again it's happening where it could be either person that i'm picking up on because i'm seeing one person here um that may be it's like each of you might be mirroring each other actually like there could be a mirroring going on where each of you don't know if you can trust the other person each of you don't know if you should keep your cards close to your chest um, and if it's, I feel like a message I'm getting around it is like, if you guys are that queen of swords figure and that queen of pentacles energy, and this person is more of a page of pentacles or the other person, they might feel suspicious of why you'd be interested in the relationship or like why you're being generous like they might there's an energy here of like mistrust here of like almost feeling that they, they might feel that there's like a there's a hidden reason maybe why you're being generous with them or like why you're seeing things in them but i'm getting from the other side that it's actually like you just see the potential um 
but I do think you guys are in a mirrored state of like almost like mental exhaustion to a point where like you don't know what your inner voices are telling you. Um, but your person 100% is not being emotionally upfront with you is the thing that I would say. Um, yeah. I'm just going to get a sip of my tea. Can we clarify the six of pentacles? Yeah, we have the lovers in reverse here. So again, there's a sense here of like maybe not being on the same level, I want to say, or um, like the the six of pentacles can be like a relationship where there's like a status difference or like one person is, I don't know, like just something on a different level than the other person. And that can you know, create like a submissive dominant sort of connection, maybe in other ways, but at, like, there's just this energy here. Okay. I'm really seeing the picture. Okay. So it's like one person. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is going to be you like the queen of swords sort of energy who may be further along than this person, maybe financially or, um, in, emotionally i'm getting maybe financially and emotionally here um but i feel like what you do see in the other person is a really strong like mind and like a good like mental connection um but i feel like there might be other places where you guys are not as equal you know um and so i feel like you most likely you guys if you guys are on like that higher level you genuinely see the potential in this other person and like there's a willingness for you to almost um like as long as you guys are working toward the same values and like same goals um as long as you're doing that like it's almost like if there's this lover situation upright between you guys um then it's like you're willing to help this person or be patient with them or allow them to grow alongside of you. Um, not for nefarious reasons. Like there isn't a, like a secret reason why you're doing that. Um, but I feel like I, Spirit's almost saying that the differences that you guys have, like, and it, again, it could even be financial or just like, in confidence even um like knowing oneself like having a confident sense of self even knowing how you feel about things like knowing your emotional truth like you guys could be on a different level here with some some aspects and that is causing a fear-based sort of reaction and decisions to be made in the connection is what i'm picking up on because the lovers in reverse can be an energy of making decisions out of fear but it's also a card of like not being on the same page or not being on the same level. Um, and again, I, I'm getting here that you guys might be feeling confused or you might not know to what degree your person um, maybe puts you on a pedestal or sees them as below you or like maybe that they don't have as much to give. Um, and so then they might be like paranoid or acting in a way that is signaling to you that they can't be trusted. But like, let me just get um, more information. But either way, each of you guys are struggling to connect intuitively to this connection because of, for some of you, it could be like a lot of noise outside of yourselves or like a lot of information that's like not helping. Um, but there's almost like this need to go within and, and calm your mind. So the decisions you make, like come from a place of your actual values, not like just like mental exhaustion or, or like an unclear place. Um, can we clarify the King of Cups in reverse? Okay. We have the 10 of Pentacles in reverse. And then can we clarify the page of Pentacles? Okay. We have the four of Pentacles. And then we have the two of wands um, in reverse. Okay. So yeah, and I do feel like this is like explaining sort of maybe why things didn't move forward or why there is a blockage right now. 
to things moving forward. Um, hang on. I want to clarify, but there's something here where like, there's a feeling of not knowing yourself. Um, this could be on both ends or this could be, um, more on the page of pentacles end or like probably your person or the person that maybe has less to give. Um, there could be a sense of not knowing exactly what they want or not knowing what they think or feel outside of, um, other like tradition or I'm even picking up that for some of you, this person could have grown up in a family where like there was sort of a hierarchical structure um, or just strong values and tradition and a lack of emotional development when it comes to figuring out like how you feel about things. Like it doesn't really matter as much how you feel about it. It's like, this is the way things are and like you need to abide by that. Um, yeah, and so with the four of pentacles here, there's almost this feeling of staying in the comfort zone of some sort of like what they're used to or what they think a relationship should look like or what they think it needs to be like or develop like. Um, but it's not coming. I feel like for those of you that are this um, like queen of swords energy, queen of pentacles energy, um, I feel like you're seeing the situation where you guys could grow like it, like you see the potential and for you that feels like enough to move forward, but there's almost this energy coming from your person's end. That's like, things need to be like this, 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 no matter how I feel, like it doesn't matter how I feel about something. Like I have to follow this like structure about it. And so I'm not used to making decisions based on my values and like what's what's most loving and in alignment with me. Um, yeah, for a lot of you, I'm getting this picture that like there's almost an explanation coming through that a part, like the reason why this didn't move forward or it's not moving forward on your person's end um, is... Sorry, something else I'm getting here, also the Six of Pentacles, it could be that this person is used to receiving some kind of a support or like they might actually have an imbalanced relationship with like their family or people that like provide for them or they might just be f like feeling like they're in that energy of being afraid to take a risk or make decisions on their own because of losing potentially some sort of support that they get, like if they do think for themselves and listen to their intuition and like sort of take a risk and move things forward. Um, but, and for some of you guys, like this person could hold themselves back because they still see themselves as like a page of pentacles. Yeah. I'm seeing this scenario come through where it's like someone sees themselves as like, I want to say like they're staying young forever or it's like they're really attached to this, ego and it could be out of fear of being like the child or something um and thinking that they have to do this kind of thing to be um to be successful or like that they're not going to be safe if they don't stay within like these four walls or like within this box of being and actually for a lot of you with the king of cups in reverse i'm also seeing this as maybe someone in your person's life that is emotionally manipulative towards them that maybe gives them a lot, but like they kind of sacrifice their um, sense of self for that. And so I would just discern what sounds like your situation. If it feels like there was a third party, um, there definitely could have been, but it feels more related to like outside manipulation, like not another like re relationship necessarily. Um, oh, something else I'm getting is that they could be influenced to not choose love right now or like to, to focus on um, like career or work or something. Um, but it just feels like there's almost this outside influence of like, this is what you should do despite how you feel, despite um, what your intuition is telling you. 
And so there's this energy of being afraid to leave the comfort zone of that. Um, also, what I'm getting as well is like they might also think because they're so used to a dynamic like this, where it ties into like sort of a sense of mistrust is that I don't think that your person on a, on some level inside of them, they feel the karmic level that this is, or they feel that this is something that they resent on some level, something that they don't trust, but feel attached to, or feel like they need. It's like kind of like the devil energy. And so I feel like with you, even if you guys are not trying to control their choices or are not trying to um, influence them in the same way that they're maybe in, they're used to being like controlled or like influenced or like not to think for themselves, um, they might project that onto you. And because of that, be, be very closed off and... Um, and unclear with their emotions with you because they maybe are afraid of like emotional manipulation or something. And this could be like in another realm as well. It's like, let's say that this person, maybe they listen to someone when they make financial decisions for, for context, like, or when they pick their career, whatever. Um, maybe they have someone that they look up to that's more successful than them in that realm. And so they feel like they have to listen to everything that that person says. And they might, might have that relationship in their life in that way. Um, this still could be emotionally manipulative, but especially if this person feels like you're really smart or feels like maybe you're more emotionally intelligent than them, um, or they would have a lot to learn from you, they might feel like that just entails um them forfeiting their own right to choose for themselves or to make decisions that are within their own values like they might be concerned about that um and again like sometimes i feel like when we don't want to look at a certain situation in our own life um for what it is we might first be able to we might project it out onto other people so it's like if it's in our shadow content that like we have this kind of manipulative or unhealthy relationship in one aspect, but we don't want to look at that. That's like a truth that we don't want to see. We can project it onto other people and then be like, you're the problem, you know, or like, you're the one who's trying to do that to me. Like not this, you know what I mean? Um, and I think like what this person misses sometimes is that they, it's like, they're trying to find the right person to trust. And it feels like, they're trying to see like, if you're, tr are you leading me down the right path? Can I follow behind you? Am I gonna be safe following you? And so it's almost like this person is debating the wrong thing. It's like, that's what they maybe think about when it comes to this like traditional thing or like someone who's successful in the family. Like they feel like they need to follow in those footsteps. Um, and they may have like gained success from doing that. And so they feel like they should continue to do that. Even if it goes against what their intuition is saying and what they think. They feel like they, they should do that because they're above them. Um, when it comes to some other front or something similar maybe. It's just that it's like your person is trying to make sure that they won't be like led astray by following you. But the real issue is, is that you're not looking for a follower. You're not looking for an unequal relationship. Like one of the first things that's come through is how you see that, how you feel that you could be a team with this person, like the three of pentacles. It's a very equal energy where everyone's ideas are valued and we all appreciate each other's skills. It's like, you don't look down on this person. Like you don't think that they are below you or you don't even see them like that. Um, you still might offer them help or like advice, but like that's just coming from like a genuine place in a supportive place. Um, but I, I feel like this person, I just like lost my train of thought right there, but I, I feel like this whole situation, it's, it shouldn't be a matter of this, this situation is trying to get this person or if that, that this is your energy and I'm re reading it reverse, like you can take it that way too. Um, this person, it's like a crossroads for you, whether or not you see the situation clearly or not. 
Um, and to see the situation clearly, you would have to use your intuition because maybe the facts here are misleading. Like it's possible that the facts don't make complete sense in the way that this person has made decisions before maybe isn't the right formula for this. It definitely isn't actually, because I feel like what they do is like they assess sort of like the, like how much they can trust someone. And then what that person, what that person's like track record is or like excellence is. Um, but I feel like what they're not realizing is that in a lot of ways, they rob themselves of the opportunity to learn how to make good decisions and make their own mistakes. It's like this person is uncomfortable with making decisions um, without almost like a mentor is what I want to say. Um, and that's okay, but but they might be dynamics where like they're not really encouraged to then become their own decision maker. Or maybe they are encouraged, but they don't do it. But it's just like this energy of going out of your comfort zone. Yeah, taking control with the emperor here. It's like, um, yeah, the four of cups in reverse. It's like they're afraid to say yes to this. Yeah, ace of swords. Um, it's like they're afraid to take the opportunity because it's almost like they'd rather stay in their comfort zone, even though they feel um, intuitively and emotionally connected with you. And they, there are green lights that they feel inside of themselves, but they're disconnected from their intuition. And they're looking at this from an angle that is causing them to hold back on taking any kind of a risk. It's also causing them to make a fear-based decision. Um, yeah. And so for some of you guys, you might just be like confused where the disconnect is. And I feel like it comes from you assuming or you knowing that you're trustworthy. And so it's weird if someone, or it's, it's not something that makes a lot of sense to you is like, if this person is afraid that you haven't been genuine with them or something, or like they might be thinking that or thinking that what you say can't be trusted 100%. It's like this person gets in their head too much, actually. This person might be really prone to overthinking um, and it's like disconnects them. It's like their fear-based thinking disconnects them from um, their intuition. And then maybe that's something that like also hits you or maybe that's like why you're confused right now is because your intuition is telling you one thing but the facts are telling you another as well. Like, I just feel like that's a theme here. Yeah, here's anxiety strategy in reverse. Like anxiety about what's the best strategy? What's the movement forward? But here's the thing you need to know is this person is, yeah, look at this. With this thinking woman in reverse, like this can almost talk about like a manipulative person that's not giving you all the information. Um, and so it's almost like this person is trying to figure out what your strategy is on, but you don't have a strategy. Like you just genuinely are. Yeah. And I just saw this card. This is exactly the card of like the garden in the gate talks about how like leaving your comfort zone and leaving like maybe where you have everything taken care of for you is going to bring growth for you, but it does require you to leave your comfort zone. Um, okay. So what does pile number one need to understand about this connection or what? Yeah. What do they need to know? Literally look at that, the sixth chakra. It's like the main thing that's an issue here is honestly, for, for some of you, it could be that your intuition tells you one thing about this person, but you're confused about it. And then there's another energy where this person's disconnected from their intuition. And so they aren't able to see past their current paradigm or like their fear-based thinking. It's like, I was just talking to someone today about how like if your, your root chakra is like out of alignment, it can be really hard for you to trust and see the possibility of success moving out of your comfort zone. It's like the sixth chakra allows you to see future potentials as well as like helps you see what's hidden or like what you can't see readily, but that's about what's going on now, but also about the future, right? And so, it's like you guys are in this thick chakra energy where it's like you could you saw intuitively that there was potential here for growth and like this maybe ten of pentacles with this person. Um, yeah, and an equal relationship like you see that potential with this person, 
Um, and I think that's what makes you feel confident moving forward. But it's like your person doesn't have that certainty. So it's like they just have a very different strategy when it comes to the how they move forward in life. Like that you might be used to moving forward with like more of an intuitive energy in this person that just could be foreign to them. Um, but the sixth chakra is also about like, even if someone doesn't tell you how they feel, like you can feel how they feel, you know? And so I feel like there's this energy here where they don't know if they can trust how you feel either. They don't know if you're emotionally manipulative. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of stressful. I feel like you just want the truth. You just want to get down to the bottom of it. Um, I think this person actually does too, but they, I, I don't, it feels like they're just a little bit more closed off to seeing in other ways, like seeing the, yeah, the situation other ways. What else does pile number one need to hear about this connection? Yeah, look at that. Literally, this is crazy. This is crazy. Financial, this is crazy that that just came out. I literally was saying, we have the first chakra, the sixth chakra. And it's like, oh, and also another thing is that if you guys are more, um, have a more solid foundation of security within yourself, um, like in a more independent sense of security, like with that queen of pentacles energy coming through, it's almost easier for you guys to move forward and trust in what your intuition is telling you, even if you don't have all the facts yet, even if your ego or like your fear-based thinking like you know cautions you if you're pretty solid in your first chakra which is like where your sense of like safety and security like you're gonna be taken care of like you're gonna have your needs met like you're almost like survival basic needs met like this person their root chakra might be codependent with another person or another entity like third party here um where overall what i'm getting just with this financial constraint as well yeah it's like the world is right outside of this though um there's almost this feeling of should i take the risk to open up to the possibilities outside of my comfort zone even if i don't have this independent sense of security already um and if in any way moving in another way would lose them support of someone else like this feels like more of a question of them becoming their own king of pentacles it's like if you're already the queen of pentacles i just feel like this person is needing to level up and come out of their comfort zone of being a page of pentacle and like learn to not do what they're told or always feel like they, they need to have more confidence in themselves that they can do it like they can be reliable they can they can see an outcome through like with the sixth chakra um yeah i'm just seeing here that's the indecision on this person's end um yeah so that's what i'm getting for you guys i feel like that sums it up like pretty well what's going on um and i just feel like once this person if if this person is able to heal their root chakra, it's like they're gonna then be able to feel more strongly about what their truth is in the situation. But until then, there's this disconnect with the sixth chakra. There's this disconnect of believing in the future possibilities, of trusting their feelings, trusting someone else. Like you can intuitively feel whether or not you should. Um, making decisions that follow their values. It's like all of those things are harder to do when you aren't like, stable within yourself or like you aren't like healthy or you aren't feeling like supported it's like that energy of having your base structure like your stability um yeah so that's what i'm getting for you guys um for the extended reading let's look at how this person does actually intuitively feel about you um i also want to look at what's going to happen next in the connection what you can expect from this person and the connection in the near future and then i want to get guidance for you guys um just on whatever else um what your next best action is for your highest good that's what we'll look at so hopefully this brought you guys some clarity we also have gemini energy um i forgot to mention that but that can also be a two-faced energy as well so 
I don't know. I, but anyways, if you found value in this, make sure you hit the like button. Um, don't forget to leave a comment if it um, resonated. I really appreciate your guys' participation. It means a lot to me. And make sure you're subscribed and you have your notification on if you want to see future pick a card readings from my channel. Other than that, it's been an honor to read for you and I hope you have a good one. Hello, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. If you chose the Prenite, that's always such an awkward word for me to say, but if you chose this crystal um, and the goddess of love, I believe, tarot, this is going to be a reading where we're looking at what you need to hear, what truth you need to hear about your person, about a certain situation or connection in your life. So we're going to start off with an energy check-in just to see how you would describe the situation to me or if I was a friend, which I am a friend, I'm down to be a friend, an internet friend. But if you were to describe it to me, I'm going to mirror that back to you. So hopefully you can figure out whether or not it's your pile and avoid any confusion. So um, there will be an extended reading as well. And it's going to depend on what comes through in this reading. And it's just going to be whatever is most helpful or like whatever it feels like a deeper exploration um like whatever the situation calls for also this deck has a lot that i'm gonna have to cover up and i i was debating not using it but i was just like i really want to so i'm not gonna let it stop me i'm just gonna have to probably throughout like cover a lot of things i might use another deck um for the second part but i at least wanted to use this deck for some of it Okay, so how would pile number two describe this connection, the situation to me? All right, right away, we already have to cover something. If this gets too taxing, I'll probably just like refilm it. Okay, so we have the Witch of Pentacles, which in this deck, which in this deck um, is the knight. How would pile number two describe this relationship, this person, situation? Oh my god, you guys. I don't know if I can use this deck. I really want to though. So we have the eight of pentacles in reverse. How would pile right the five of swords in reverse? How pile number two describe? Okay, we have the Maiden of Swords, which is the Page of Swords. Can we clarify the Witch of Pentacles, please? I feel like you guys would say, like, I don't know why this person... Um... Like, I don't get why they aren't, like, showing up for the connection or, like, I don't get what I'm doing wrong almost. Like, there's this feeling of, like, I don't, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but, like, the connection isn't moving forward. Um, and with the Five of Swords here, it's, like, I feel like when the Five of Swords is in reverse, it can kind of turn into, like, negative self-talk or, like, internalized, like, fears that we have or, like, insecurities even. And so I feel like because of the way the relationship is moving or like what this person's actions are. Um, it's like you're trying to figure out why or you're trying to get more information as to, I'm hearing like what's the holdup or like why this person, for some of you it could be why this person isn't like putting the effort in um, or like why what work you're doing for the relationship isn't progressing anything. You're like, am I doing something wrong? Or like, you know, are they just not interested? Or, you know, I'm not getting like a lot. I don't know why. Um, is it because they're insecure? You know, like th there could even be that. Um, are they worried that, I feel like you're trying to figure out, like you, you could be reflecting on like, is this on my end? Is this on their end? Um, how have pile number two describe this situation or connection person to me? So if we clarify the Witch of Pentacles. All right, we have the Seven of Swords. 
we clarify the eight of pentacles um in reverse i'm also getting like again there's this energy of is this person like lying to me or like not telling me this could also be the energy of like someone who says one thing or like says that they want to move things forward or that they are interested um but then they you don't hear from them for a while or it's like there's just this energy of is the reason why they're not like moving the connection forward right now because they're off doing something else or like they're having strategy with me that they can't be trusted um there's a, also a question of am i lying to myself about this person about the situation um yeah there's just this energy are they having are i feel like you're also wondering is this a strategy that this person isn't doing anything a lot of questions. Um, can we clarify the Eight of Pentacles in reverse? Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles. I'm gonna sip of my tea. Yeah, it's like, like why isn't this working? There's also an energy of like, why it's either a feeling that you're putting the energy in and they aren't um, seemingly putting the same energy in or they might say that they're going to and then they, they don't follow through. Um, but I'm also getting like this energy of like maybe this person makes it seem like you guys are that they're in this and that they're you guys are on the same page but then they don't their actions don't follow that and it's like okay well if we if there is this level of like dedication to the team or like growing together or like building something together why is it not like why don't you want to move it forward almost Can we clarify the five of swords in reverse We have the nine of cups. Yeah, it's like, do you even want this? Um, also, there's an energy of like you going in, again, like going internal with it and going, like maybe they don't even like me or like, you know, maybe they're acting in their own interest. Like maybe I should just focus on myself. Like what if this, there's a question of whether or not this person is selfish um, whether or not they want this. You might also be wondering if the reason why they aren't moving energy forward is because they aren't like confident in themselves. Like, like that you wonder if this person maybe does, um, want something to work out with you, but th it's, they're, um, like self-conscious or they are insecure and so you don't know if like this deception you are picking up on, this like lack of communication, this lack of, like there's a deception here. Like something isn't adding up to you and you're trying to figure out what it is and you're going through all these different scenarios. And like one of them sounds like maybe they want to come forward, but they're afraid of messing something up or like they're just taking their time because they're anxious. You know, you don't know. So we clarify the uh, Maiden of Swords. All right, we have the Five of Cups here. And then we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I do feel like you guys are very confused right now. Um, I think I can show this, but just in case I'll put a little something over it. Yeah, I, I think there's a lot of confusion here and this energy of I'm just trying to like figure it out like what is this situation like you know i feel like there's also even a question of like is this what i want you know um or is this something that's just going to disappoint me am i going to regret this um i also feel like there's this energy of 
I, yeah, like this fear of disappointment or like not getting what you would want out of the situation. Uh, maybe even being slightly afraid of what you might find if you dig into this. But with the seven of cups in reverse, either way, you also don't know 100% what this person wants. And I feel like that's why it's also causing confusion. It's like, do we want the same thing? Like, that's another question. I feel like you guys are very curious, like really questioning things. Um, are they, do they want this, but they're afraid of, you know, heartbreak or things going wrong? Or like, are they still getting over something else? Like, you, you know, there's just a lot of questions here. Um, and I have answers, so I'm excited to get into this and help you guys understand whatever you need to hear. So, um, I'm just going to pause really quick. I'm going to use a different deck just so it's easier. So yeah, I'm also get, like, I'm getting this energy of not really knowing, um, like you guys might be feeling like confident in yourselves. It's one or the other. It's like either you guys are confident in yourselves, um, and so you're just assuming that the lack of movement forward is probably like their insecurity. Um, I don't know. I think it crosses your mind that this person could be like deceiving you in some way. But I, I feel like you guys might think that this person is. A, I'm getting like a scared to start or like sort of a perfectionist or someone that just, you know, takes a long time because they're nervous or something. Um It depends. It could be either way. Or it could be a situation where you're feeling insecure about like their, the lack of clarity you're getting from them. And some of you could be feeling like you're starting to like worry or not even worry, but just like wonder. You're just really wondering what's happening. Like that's the best way I could describe it. I feel like you try to figure this person out. You guys might like to like understand people very deeply. I mean, I do too, but um, that could be part of it. Okay, so for pile number two, what truth do they need to hear about this person, about the situation? What truth do they need to hear? All right, we have the four of swords in reverse. Okay, we have the four of wands in reverse. We have the hierophant in the reverse, the ace of sword. We have a lot of energy. The 10 of pentacles, the ace of swords in reverse as well. Um, okay. There's like a similar-ish energy that I'm picking up for pile number one, but we'll get into it. Um, can we clarify the four of swords in the reverse? Seven of Swords in reverse. Can we clarify the Four of Wands in the reverse? The Eight of Pentacles. Can we clarify the Hierophant in reverse? The Knight of Cups in reverse. And then the Six of Wands. Okay. So what's coming through is definitely... a person potentially that is working on actually let me let me um rephrase that there's a question here on this person's mind around should i do what society tells me to do or like what my culture my family everyone else around me is doing um or should i think for myself um, but what feels at stake here is with the six of wands, it's like there's a little bit of a people pleasing energy coming through or wanting everyone to be happy and not wanting to upset anyone. And so I feel like with the six of wands, this person's reputation and yeah, reputation matters a lot. Um, so for some of you, I... Okay, I just want to say for some of you guys, if this is a work connection, there is a scenario coming through like that. This person could be afraid of 
losing face or um like especially with the higher font like if this is someone who people listen to or look up to um or like they have responsibilities of being like a leader or um you know something like that like they may almost feel like it's their burden that they have to sacrifice sometimes like maybe what their heart wants um and you know on that end it's almost like this energy of I can't take time or like I can't even explore my feelings for pile number two because I have to focus on work and like even if there is a connection here I, I feel the need to like lie to myself about it I feel the need to like push down or suppress my feelings because if I did follow them it would go against some sort of code of conduct or um the status quo let's say the status quo um it could cause disharmony with the four of wands as well there's some sort of foundation that this person is concerned with disrupting there's also an energy here of being concerned about um like what kind of conflict or chaos it would cause um and so yeah there's almost this energy of we better not think about it like let's just not think about it let's not think about how we actually feel in this situation let's focus on you know the material let's focus on the plan let's focus on tradition let's let's not do anything to rock the boat like that's the feeling here um for others of you even if this person let's say this person isn't necessarily a leader in anything it could just be some other status quo or like the right or, or what let's say that there's like a code of conduct we have Taurus energy by the way um let's say that there is a code of conduct that ev like a, a community follows um this could be within their own family this could be a friend group a community a church I don't know anything like that and it's not that they're a leader or anything. It's just that they feel that like they should have to follow that. Like they need to follow that. And if they don't, it could cause disharmony in, in this community or this foundation. And there's this feeling here of like kind of similar where I'm afraid of disrupting the status quo to explore my feelings. Um, so I feel the need to lie to myself about my feelings toward pile number two. Um, yeah, so like, that's what I'm getting here. Um, there's almost, yeah, there's almost this energy of like, I don't even want to figure out how I actually feel about this. Like, and they could even be avoiding having sort of an epiphany or avoiding even communicating with you about their feelings. Like either way, like for, um, those of you where this is someone that like, there's like a work status quo, this person's a leader, so they're concerned, or this is someone who cares about like their reputation in some status quo energy. It's this energy of like, I'm denying the truth. It's actually a denial of the truth here that's going on. Um, for the sake of for the sake of maintaining the status quo. And it, it almost also feels like like they're building something up. In this situation like with the eight of pentacles like they may have their focus on some sort of long-term goal um and so there may be this energy of like i can't afford to explore these feelings that i have right now because i need to focus on um i need to focus on like myself or like my financial situation my career let's say like my career um and like or and i'm like hyper fixated on on my reputation right now and you know, putting my energy into that. Like I don't have time even for some of these people. Um, but for a lot of you guys, it just feels like there's some reason why it's forbidden or frowned upon, or it doesn't give them brownie points from the people around them. It could be as small as like the cool thing to do in a certain friend group is to, um, you know, is more about like not, is not being like relationship oriented or not about like uh being like emotional in a sense or like or it could even be that like this person cares so much about how their peers and like are viewing them that they 
they might want to achieve this goal um, first. Or like they, they're so focused on sort of getting these accolades that it's like, this isn't, this is less important to me for some of you guys. Regardless, it feels like they're putting, this person is putting above some other value or some other goal apart from their emotions. It's like, it's not, this person isn't, it's not that they are trying to be sneaky. Well, they are lying to themselves, but they're not trying to lie to you. Um, and it's also, there's no one else or there, it's not that they want to focus on some other emotional um, opportunity. And again, this could also be like, I can't commit right now. So I don't want to explore this. Like until I can give a relationship the energy it deserves, I don't want to feel my feelings because it's just going to cause conflict. It's like, you know, I can't deal with it in a sense, you know, it's, it, yeah, it's just this feeling of. It may be true on some level. I want to shove down the fact that I am right now feeling this way for someone because I want to wait for that. Like I want to be in a different position when I'm actually going to commit to someone. So either way, this person definitely does have feelings for you, but they're, they're very much held back from showing that or taking action on it. Um, or like, and they're actually actively avoiding coming to some consensus or truth or, or like seeing the truth about that because how it gets in the way of like other goals that they have. I just want to add in that I was picking up that for the people that are like concerned about their reputation and want to keep the status quo, like you, some of you guys could have the situation where this person is married, but they're not happy in the relationship and they are afraid of like walking away from it to pursue you um, because of how that would look or like it would look like a failure or like they might feel like their reputation, it would be bad for the reputation if they did that. So, and with justice in reverse, yeah, it definitely could have been like a marriage situation with the four of wands as well. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to add that in for you guys. Yeah, so that's, that's what I'm getting. Um, justice in reverse we have the sun in reverse this person could be again like with that people pleasing energy it's like you might be getting mixed signals from this person or feeling confused because they may also for some of you it could be an energy of having your cake and eating it too like they want to entertain you on some level um but they know that there's only so much they can give it's like, yeah, it's like the energy of like my first priority is going to be this, but I do have interest in pile number two. Um, but there's also this feeling of like, I can't let them know that because if I communicate that or the truth is known, then like they might expect more from me. And so they might be underplaying their feelings for you because they aren't ready to let that mean anything. So it's like, why would I tell pile number two that like, I have a lot of feelings for them that are deep. Why would I do that if I can't prioritize them right now? That might just cause more problems with justice in reverse. It's like either way, this person feels like someone's gonna end up, or it's just like, they're, it feels like they can't really do right in the situation. Like that's how they feel with Libra here. But that's also saying that they don't feel that they can do right by you um, with these other focuses that they have. Um, so yeah, it is a little bit stuck in a rock and a hard place either way. But I do think it is really important that you guys understand that this person is first and foremost. Um, they might be really busy as well. A lot of you guys, this person's really, really busy is, is something I'm picking up on. Um, and they may even avoid spending time on their own or like overthinking things because like it, it's easier that way. It's easier for them to not, cause it's like there is sadness if they do miss out on the opportunity with you. So it's like they're coping with that through trying to suppress it and trying to focus on other things. Um, yeah, like focusing on, uh, yeah, just other things is like the best way I could describe it. Um, yeah, let's get some Oracle cards. Wow. 
For some others, this could be someone whose career comes literally, like they don't even want to have a relationship or something. Or it's like they might have said that they don't want to get married, that they don't want commitment, that they don't want a future. Um, they might have been like, the only thing that matters to me is like this goal in my life, for example, or like this could be someone who sacrificed like relationship thus far to put more time and energy into career or like um, some sort of goal that they have, some sort of some some endeavor, let's say. Um, there's a feeling here that like they, there may be challenging feelings coming up because for a lot of, for some of you, it could be that they don't know if they want that or not yet. Um, for others of you, it could be that they do, they have sworn that they don't want that, but they might be feeling differently now and they might be. And that would be giving like, sort of like, I won't say I'm in love energy. It's like, I'm going to pretend like I don't want a future with this person. I'm going to pretend like I don't want to marry them. Um, yeah. And there's also this energy of like, then like, I don't need anyone else. Like I just have my own peace, my own peace of mind. Like I don't want to sacrifice my own peace of mind in a way, but yeah. Okay. So a lot of different scenarios coming through for this group. All right. So for pile number two, what truth um, do they need to hear about this person, this situation? We have the, again, magician in the mirror. Okay. So like, again, this is giving me the energy of being very focused on some kind of goal or outcome um, or some manifestation that they have and wanting to focus their energy into that. For others of you, there's a feeling that they won't be able to manifest anything long-term with you. Like they may want that in the long run, like, but they may feel that they don't have what they need right now. Yeah, we have happy family to um, like commit or start something that would be successful. What truth does pile number two need to hear? We have storm warning. Again, there's this fear of chaos, conflict. There's a fear um, of some kind of upheaval. If they did decide to change plan or act on their feelings and, and prioritize their feelings, like they just feel like that would cause chaos in their life. Um, for those of you that for whatever reason, like there's actually a lot of different scenarios, but like also I want to say for the group of the person that um, there could be someone here and like you guys just have to discern what your situation is. There could be someone who's just like very like focused on how they're viewed and being viewed as successful. Um, and so for some of you guys, it's like they want to be viewed as this magician in the mirror. And so there could be an avoidance of pushing things forward here because what if it isn't successful? Um, they don't want to fail. You know what I mean? So like they don't want, they want it to be smooth sailing. Like they don't want people to see like a really rocky relationship or like they, or they may, um, I don't know. I'm going to keep going, but like, I just feel like with the storm warning, um, that's just for a couple of different reasons. It's, it's like for some people here, they're trying to protect their reputation. Um, it would cause chaos if they if they decide to do something else. Um, some other people may feel that like it would cause conflict just like with like their time or something or like that they wouldn't be able to put time into it. Yeah, we have strategy here. Again, it's like this person wants to have is for a lot of you guys, this person has a current strategy that they're married to and they may feel like following their feelings would be off their strat their current strategy, what they currently expected to do. Um, this can mean a lot of things. So it's like, it's also like they may feel that they don't have, excuse me, they don't have the right strategy yet for a relationship to work. Like they don't feel like they would, they know exactly what to do. Um, 
So for some of you, they could be t like taking a long time, like because that, that was coming through that they were like maybe not moving things. Um, they may some people may be trying to come up with a strategy to have both situations work out without causing chaos. Um, actually, all of them, I, I would say, on some level, are trying to to have both things because. I feel like from your side of it, like you don't get why this person's giving you energy, but then you just like, yeah, like they're not following through to the same level as you. And I feel like this person doesn't want to let go of you. And so on some level, they, it, they are trying to strategize all together with how to figure it out or like what what they can do there's just this energy of how much of this connection can i indulge without causing a problem we have the seventh chakra here as well and then we also have patience yeah so there is this energy again of trying to see like maybe feeling like it's not time right now um with the seventh chakra here, I feel like there could be some kind of a spiritual connection between the two of you. Um, it's kind of giving like, what path do I want to walk down? Do I want to walk down a more spiritual one or do I want to stay more ego focused? But I do just feel like this connection may, they may just be very focused on seeing things in a more like, solar plexus energy right now versus like a seventh chakra like they might feel like they would get lost or something it's like they're afraid of like a dreamy energy overcoming them and i don't know if it's because your person like associates emotions with like messiness or just like you know like there, there can be like a daydreamy aspect to love or like a lack of rational energy um it's there's this single pointed focus that your person is trying to have um, and it feels like this connection may be creating more focus on like a spiritual awakening or um, it's taking their focus off themselves. And so there's just this feeling that it's contradicting what they were wanting to do. But they do feel the connection. I feel like that's important for you to know. Yeah, we have deceit in reverse. Yeah, I do feel... Um, that they maybe feel like in the future they can tell you the truth. But again, I don't know if that's exactly fair. So that's what I'm picking up for you guys. I just want to make sure I'm like filming right now. Okay, cool. I want to look at for the extended reading. What do I want to look at? I want to see what their honest intention is toward you. What next action they're actually going to take. What's the potential of this connection? And should you like wait for this person? Should you move on? We're going to get you guidance. So I will have that link down below if you guys are interested. Other than that, I hope this resonated with you. If it did, if you're able to hit the like button, leave a comment. Thank you to everyone who does participate um, just with my channel. And if you want to see future Pick a Card readings, make sure you're subscribed. And other than that, thank you so much for letting me read for you. I hope to connect with you again soon. Hello, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. If you chose the anhydrite point and the pastel journey tarot, then this is gonna be your reading where we're looking at what truth um, it's important for you to hear or time for you to hear about a certain person. Um, or connection with the person. So I'm going to leave it open to spirit just based on whatever is most beneficial to you to understand. And before we get into it, we're going to be starting off with an energy check-in just to see how you would describe this person, the situation, um, so I can mirror that back to you and hopefully give you more clarity as to whether or not this is your pile. So for pile number three, how would they describe their connection with this person? Anything about the person or connection, please. What would they say about it? Okay, we have the five of wands in reverse. The seven of swords in reverse. 
of the moon. Okay, so definitely, I feel like there might be um, not as much action happening right now. Or if there is, it's very, like you guys maybe are interacting with this person, but it doesn't feel like what's be what really each of you guys are feeling. It's like not being said. With the moon, we have cancer energy here. So I feel like each of you might have your guard up or this person, or it's just, it's giving that vibe of like, we're in a weird vibe right now. Like me and this person aren't like really addressing things or there's just a lot of confusion. And even you guys could be in your head in some way, like feeling like you don't know what's real in this or you don't know what you should believe about this person this connection there's a lot of gray area right now and a lack of understanding a lack of clarity about this person the connection with them where they stand where the connection stands i feel like there's a lot of uh it's you don't really know 100 percent be the empress in reverse can we clarify how um pile number three would explain this connection okay we have the star and a, a strong lack of clarity a strong lack of direction like i don't know where this is headed i don't know like and also there's a feeling of not having very much hope about the situation with the star in reverse or maybe giving up not knowing if you should give up maybe feeling like you're giving up with the empress in reverse here like maybe feeling like the only thing you can do in the situation is focus on yourself because they're not giving you very much. We have Aquarius energy with the star. It's like, they're not giving you a lot of direction as to there being a future or things working out. So it's like, I feel like you're in this position where because you don't have the information you need, there's nothing to do really. I just feel like there's confusion, honestly. And like, because there's confusion, there's a lack of direction and that could be taxing on you and so there's just this feeling of like i don't really know what to think 100 percent. what else okay, the lovers in reverse gemini energy here yeah i feel like you don't know i feel like you don't feel like you're on the same page as this person especially with the five of wands but it's like not really being addressed or yeah, you might even, some of you guys might be feeling like you shouldn't have had as much faith in this person or maybe you feel like you might have been deceiving yourself when it comes to you and this person being on the same page or having the same values. Um, and I'm even getting the energy of like maybe seeing a different side to this person and not, um, and not being able to reconcile that with maybe what you thought before. Okay, yeah, we have the Ten of Swords here. So I definitely feel like there may have been an ending in the situation. Um, I feel like you might be trying to heal from this, if anything. Yeah, we have Death in Reverse, the Devil, Strength. Yeah, this might have even done like a number on you. Like you may just be feeling like caught off guard or betrayed. But like again with the Ten of Swords, like there's a, still a question of like, is this just really over? Like is this a Ten of, ten of Swords situation is where it's just best to kind of accept that there's going to be a painful ending, but after that, you'll be freed from like the chaos and the pain of the situation. Um, and so there is a release with the Ten of Swords. And so there's almost this feeling of like, I just kind of want that release from the situation. But nonetheless, you feel confused and sort of like, I don't know, like, is this just sort of the end? We have King of Swords. I feel like you would like to hear, from, we have Ten of Wands here again. Like there's a burden, like this situation. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Like I kind of just want to be released from feeling stuck in the situation or feeling like, I don't know. Like there's just this sense of I don't want to hold on to this. And like with the King of Swords here, it's like you might be finding this person. Like you may want more information from this person. You may want the truth from this person. Um, or it could be a situation where they've gone just kind of like cold or like cold on you. Like, yeah, it's like you're not getting a lot of warmth from this person. And so you're just kind of carrying this on your own is how it feels. 
yeah so that's what i'm picking up on hopefully that gives you some um, idea of whether or not this feels like your situation or a situation that you do want to hear more about um by the way there will be an extended reading if you guys really do feel like it resonates and you want to go deeper into your situation so i'll be figuring out the topic as we go along but spirit what does um what truth does pile number three need to hear about this person, the situation? We have the tower in reverse. Yeah, so there could have definitely been like a tower moment in the situation. Um, like a situation where, you know, you were building something with this person or even not like building something. It's like we all, when we meet people, start to create a version of them in our heads, a version of the relationship. And I feel like there could have been some sort of situation where everything you thought maybe about the situation didn't turn out to be true or like there was just some contradictory evidence. Um, what does pile number three need to, uh, need to hear? What truth do they need to hear about this person's situation? Yeah, Princess of Swords in reverse. Okay. We have the star the four of swords yeah and the star actually comes after the tower um yeah okay can we clarify the tower in reverse we have judgment and i'm not gonna lie this feels like a, a message um less of well it is about the the person in the situation but this really feels like your spirit team coming through to like talk to you about a certain situation that may have caught you off guard and like you may need healing from the situation with the two cups in reverse like yeah there may be someone that you're kind of having a hard time healing from yeah we have temperance in reverse we have eight of swords in reverse death two of cups um you might be feeling just like stuck and like you don't really know how to process something and spirit saying like you actually have the information that you need in order to heal from this but it may it does require judgment here so it requires you to actually look at the situation and see where maybe you missed certain signs or already the information you've pre been presented with is enough i'm just getting it is enough information for you to begin the healing process with the four of swords and the star and for some of you that may be it's just like this energy of having a hard time processing it or almost like this person having been in your blind spot it's like yeah, that's exactly what it feels like. It's just like, you know, that energy of like when you're driving and, you know, imagine that you check, you know, you check your back, you check your back mirror, you check, you check all your mirrors, everything looks good. So you change lanes and then you crash and it's like, whoa, I didn't like see that. And then I feel like there's this energy of almost being in that situation where it doesn't make any sense. And it could be because there was some level of like I don't want to say deception but I do feel like there were factors that you weren't able to see at the time but based on the information based on what's happened like imagine it being like a car crash it's like it's like imagine that you got in a car crash and then sitting in the car crash and just like almost being confused like how did that happen like I definitely thought the lane was clear you know what I mean like you saw it with all your senses that way and, but he was in your blind spot. And so it's like, there's almost this reality of like, but the truth is I did crash. And the truth, like the truth is I did crash. And the truth is that I didn't see something clearly, obviously. And so I feel like it's hard though, because we don't want that to be the reality, you know? And like, I feel like this is a situation where you maybe saw the best in someone or a situation. And it's like, it's time to come back to yourself almost like I'm almost getting hermit energy here as well. Like to come back to yourself and like really analyze the situation for what it was. And that's going to begin your healing process. It's like, we can't really heal until the tower is fully fallen or else we're just still in this crumbling tower. But can we clarify the uh, princess swords in reverse? What does pile number three need to hear? What truth do they need to hear about the situation? the sun in reverse it's like there's just this energy of what you didn't see like there's there's a judgment moment around that like and i'm seeing the hierophant here in reverse um but there's just a feeling of 
there was certain things that you didn't see or that weren't made apparent to you that weren't clear. And I feel like that's something that spirit just wants you to accept at face value of like there, it is real that you didn't see certain things in this connection. Like whether, cause you guys have the moon energy right now, which is very confusing and kind of fearful. And so I just feel and disoriented. Like I feel like the situation is disorienting, but I feel like spirit's saying at the very least, what you can know is that it's true that you didn't know certain things. It's true that you did miss certain things. Um, and that, like, yeah, and I'm just getting like, that's the truth of the situation. Um, like I, in the, in the extended reading, let's look at what you didn't see. I think that'd be really interesting to go into like, what were the, what, yeah, what did you, what did you not see about this person originally or the situation? Um, can we clarify the star as to what pile number three needs to hear about this person relationship situation? We have the nine of swords in reverse. Yeah. And that's what I'm getting. Um, with the nine of swords, because I was getting the ten of swords as well, where it's like, I feel like this situation um, is causing emotional stress or like emotional or meant, sorry, not emotional. Well, maybe emotional as well, but mental overwhelm, you know, like, um, and I feel like there's this energy with the nine of swords here of spirit saying that it's, I'm, I'm getting that it's not as, it's not like a terrible thing that happened is what I'm getting. I'm just getting that there may have been, if you think back to it, certain moments of like maybe something that would have alerted you that maybe the way you were seeing this person or the way that they're portraying themselves wasn't 100%. But I feel like Spirit's also saying to not wind yourself up by getting overly concerned or like nightmarish about what the truth is in a way. Um, I feel like Spirit's saying like going back to the car example, the truth in that situation is that just the car was in your blind spot. And I feel like that's the truth of this situation in your blind spot specifically though. And so I almost feel like and I, I, I want to be so like I'm trying to put this into words that like I feel like this is a learning moment for you with judgment. And I feel like this is a lesson and a cycle that you're going to be able to close out. But I feel like maybe you guys have had a tendency to create like a version of someone in your head and because of that that might give you blind spots where like there may have been moments that like if you didn't have that sort of blind spot or that way of like looking at it you would have seen it but I don't think it's like strongly nefarious or strongly something that you need to be feeling really like really anxious over it's more just like spending time reflecting on okay, like this is clearly what I was not seeing correctly. Like now that I think back to it, now that I see this truth, now that I see we've crashed, what are certain things that maybe would have pointed in the direction of that? And I feel like this is a good like lesson or learning moment for you. Um, and I think it's going to bring a lot of healing and direction back. Because I feel like this has like disoriented you or made you feel less confident in yourself or less, um, <clears throat> less, Spirit's saying that this isn't meant to be something that brings you off path or is a huge thing. It's like, it's more to do with, like, I feel like moving forward, you're not going to do the same thing to another person or you're not going to like put this person on a pedestal if you did that or kind of imagine, feel, like there's an energy here. Like, you know what I'm seeing is like fill in the blank. Like, um, you know, those things like when we were in, like a mad lib I think that's what it's called where it's like there's a structure and then you fill in the blank of like different words and then it creates like a different story like I feel like there's an energy here of this situation being like a is that what it's called a mad lib like um and instead of filling in the blanks with with your own words that like it's almost realizing how that can change the structure the foundation of what was there and I feel like there was a need there is a need moving forward and in this situation to see where maybe instead of filling in a blank, 
that would have been that could be a good time to investigate or like ask this person questions or like make sure that we're we know what we know you know what i mean because there's certain things we know in a situation and i just feel like with this one um it's like a mad lib where it's like it's transformed by the words you add to it and it might be you seeing the best in someone you know what i mean but there's there's a need moving forward to to be more clear about what you do and don't know it's like the process of discernment in a situation um and i feel like that's something that will help things and i and I feel like the focus is on you for this reading more than your person. Can we clarify the, the Four of Swords? And the Four of Swords is all about getting clarity of mind. Yeah, we have Justice in Reverse. Five of Wands in Reverse. I just feel like there's like this... It's really this energy is kind of painful because it's this feeling of... Something being in your blind spot. And you know what it's also giving me the energy of? Um, like Neville in Harry Potter when he has that like ball that tells him that he forgot something <laughs> and but it doesn't tell him what he lost or what he forgot it's like something like that and so there's almost a feeling in this reading where i'm like i don't know what it is for everyone's situation but i feel like in your reflection you will be able to see the reality of the situation as it is and with justice in reverse i feel like spirit's saying like there was unfairness in the situation um this is libra energy like there was there was unfairness. And I feel like with the five of wands in reverse, like it could have even been like avoiding conflict or like avoiding, like almost if there is varying, like let's say um, for a situation, you find out two things about like, I'm trying to give an example. Like it, imagine that you hear, I'm seeing like a math equation. It's almost like there are four variables about something and it's like let's say a b and c make sense with each other but then d is an outlier and it's like that creates conflict to what the whole is and i feel like there's this situation here of not letting that outlier be something that we ignore because it does change the whole equation like that does matter and i feel like with the five of wands in reverse there's almost a feeling of disregarding contradictory evidence or contradictory um thoughts but it's like spirits saying that there's almost an energy here of an opportunity to see the situation with more nuance and understanding that this and that can be true and understanding that just because this is true doesn't mean that can't be true you know what i mean and so there's almost this energy of this being a process for you of literally processing <laughs> oh my god literally i was about to say processing your own process <laughs> for maybe relationships or for situations like this but that's literally what i'm getting so there's almost this energy of spirit saying like there's a lot to learn from the situation and it's not about this person like i'm literally like screw this person and, like especially if this person did anything wrong to you but i'm just saying that like for your own spiritual growth like this is a moment to learn it's just the best way i could describe it learn and and not this is an opportunity to learn more about yourself and your way and i think spirit's saying if you go back into into a meditative zone or like a reflective energy where there's less confusion i feel like you're going to be able to accept the situation and see it for the truth that it is and it feels like that truth is something like wow a b and c may have been true like this person may have said this to me they may have done that action um you know, we may have had this experience together, but then there was also these other things that happen. And I should have factored that more into the truth of the situation. Yeah, that's like what I'm getting. <laughs> Sorry if this is like kind of vague, but, um, you know, I'm gonna use this other deck, but yeah. So for the extended reading though, I do wanna focus a little bit more on what was it that you guys weren't seeing? Um, what was it that kind of went uncalculated, I guess? <clears throat> I also want to see what this person's current energy is toward you. Um, yeah, what's this person's energy toward you? And then we'll get guidance for you as well. All right, what truth do you want pile number three to see about this person, this connection, the situation? 
So we have mending here. We have yang in reverse. We have breathe. Yeah, okay. So I'm definitely getting here, Spirit saying. Um, if you do slow down, like their spirit's really encouraging you guys to take us <clears throat> like a back seat right now. <laughs> so many car references <clears throat> coming through, but spirit's really saying that with mending here, there is a process of healing that needs to be done in this situation. That's going to be more of a reflective process rather than like there's nothing you can do about this situation right now but re retroactively i do feel like there's a lot to learn i'm even getting like literally like a scientist it's like instead of setting up like a new study to figure out the truth of this let's do a retroactive study let's look at what happened let's look at the evidence let's let's try to look at things from a different perspective or see like just with this mending card again there's an energy of it being a blind spot right it's like this is so challenging the situation for you because it's bringing up something from your shadow, like not in a bad way about you, but like, for example, <clears throat> if we grew up in a family where our needs, this is just doesn't have to, this is not like for the situation, but it's just an example. Like <clears throat> if we grew up in a family where we were constantly shown that our needs like don't matter like let's say we went through like neglect or something it's like then when we're in a relationship and someone shows those same things compared to someone who wasn't neglected that's going to be our blind spot because we don't recognize that that is something that like we don't recognize how unhealthy that could be for us you know so that's the kind of blind spot i'm talking about you guys by the way it's like it's like something from childhood here um and it could be just a situation where like there's nothing you can do there's nothing you should do. Like there's this kind of truth of that. Like there's nothing for you to do right now besides heal and reflect and slow down and sort of make sense of this for yourself. And okay, yeah, so we have clean, yeah, we have chop wood and then clean it up here. And so, yeah, I'm just really getting that spirit saying like, take this step by step and understand that there's like a healing process to go through here. And there's a need to kind of, um, with clean it up like this is a card that's saying that this is a, chop wood is all about there being a process as well it's like this is a process of you learning about your own process and it has a lot to do also with like what are you bringing to a situation like what is your psyche and like what is your baggage quote unquote like we all have some not baggage that's that's almost negative what's your like history and we we all have baggage in a certain sense so it's like we all have experiences and pain that we've been through and our own sort of like issues that like we may have or not have sorted through and I feel like there's this energy of this being a process where you get to sort through that um and for some of you it's like if you guys feel that maybe you guys were for some of you, I'm just getting it could be flip flop or like maybe some of you guys do feel that you guys were the ones that ended up wronging someone or like ended up there being like a tower falling for you um, and you like don't get why things fell apart. Like you you thought things were like you didn't see it coming or something. Um, and I feel like this is like I'm seeing two sides of the situation now. Like I feel like there's one person that is feeling a little bit more wronged by the other person. Um, and then there's another person that's like maybe not understanding what wrong they did to the other person and maybe going through cycles like this and like because of like the childhood, it's like there's just some sort of like childhood dynamic playing out between you and another person or in this connection. And I feel like there's a lot to be learned through your own reflection of of yourself and like looking at the situation more objectively of like what did I miss? Like how do we how did we get from a to b like we obviously both are confused as to how it went from a to b we need to go to a.1 a.2 a.3 a.4 and then we need to go back to a.1 and then compare it to a.6 like i feel like there's a process here of integration and healing that is you guys already have enough information to do that and like that's just kind of the reality like there's nothing really to be done right now besides 
figuring out what's yours, what's mine, what really happened here, I, I guess, is like the best way I could describe it. Um, so I hope this helped you guys. I know this is kind of like an ambiguous message, but hopefully some of you guys have been feeling this sort of energy and like maybe you guys just need to hear that there's nothing really that you need to do right now is what I'm getting. It's like divine time or like there's an energy of the best thing you can do right now is hold back and be in your feminine processing energy um, because you have answers there. Um, and it's like, if you feel stuck, it's because there's more uncovering to do with judgment here before the world can happen, before we can close out the cycle fully and, and feel resolved in a way. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm getting. So for the extended, again, um, we are going to be looking at what... Gosh, see, I feel like I keep getting these situations from both perspectives and I'm like, now I want to go into both, but I'm going to see what comes through and I, I feel like I need to go on the other side, I will, but I want to see what um, wasn't clearly being seen. Like, what did we miss? Like, just to kind of help you guys, like what was actually missed, you know what I mean? And then we can look at what your person's energy is towards you. And then we will also get you guys some guidance on whatever you need to hear about this connection. Just more message and guidance cards for you guys. So um, thank you so much for being here. I hope that this resonated. I, if you found any um, any usefulness, I don't know if that's the right, right way to say it. But if you guys enjoyed, please hit the like button. Please leave a comment. And if you guys want to see future pick a card readings from this channel, then I would love for you to subscribe and put your notification bell on. Other than that, it's been a, re uh, oh God, what am I doing? An honor to read for you guys. And I hope to connect with you again soon.